This is not exactly the type of video I'd expect to be making at this point in time on a lovely Wednesday evening, but here we are. Jagex is about to change the price of membership, and I'm not talking about a small minor correction, I'm talking about a major increase in the price of membership. So you best pay attention. I want to start by pointing out that Jagex has a habit of doing good things and following up those good things with terrible news or changes. We are literally in the planning, starting phase of talking about microtransactions and how Treasure Hunter could be removed and replaced with something else, and we're increasing membership prices already. Come on, Jagex. I literally made a video talking and speculating about Jagex roughly needing a 10% membership price increase to amount for lost revenue if... Treasure Hunter would be removed today as a reply to Jagex's CEO sharing some words on how we're in the talking and planning phase. Linked below, by the way. I'm not saying this is a bad financial decision on Jagex's end, but it is a tone-deaf decision for public relations and public image. We are not even close to Treasure Hunter being remotely changed or removed, and Jagex thinks, hey, let's go ahead and increase the prices right now. And yes, they'll be making more money, but come on, this is just... Jagex could probably give a masterclass on how to upset their customers. It's crazy, but you know... RuneScape players are addicted to the game, so they'll still pay for membership. That's probably what's going on here, behind the scenes. Okay, so why are they doing this? Um, okay, they're uh, investing and delivering great content every month. Uh-huh. The, the bare minimum, you know, for something you're paying for monthly, mind you. Or if you're a Premier Club member, paying for in advance. But the main reason seems to be membership pricing has been unchanged in the last two years despite recent global inflationary pressures. Alright, hold on to that for just a second. Here's the new price of membership across multiple currencies starting from the 27th of September 2024 in just about one month. The only exceptions to this price increase are players with existing or older running subscriptions that remain the same price. Now, I just want you to know that in May 2022, all MTX related things were increased in price. As it stands, only membership is going to be increased in price, but even though the post says bonds will not be changing in price right now, I expect them to follow as all treasure hunter keys in the near future. The price of membership in Euro is increasing by an average of 13.83%, with the biggest increase being for players buying a six-month membership package. As you can see, it's becoming significantly more expensive for every type of member. It is worth noting that Premier Club, or the 12-month membership package, did cost 80 euros in 2019 and 2020, so this is still technically cheaper than that price five years ago. That being said, Premier Club got reduced to 65 euros in 2021 and 2022. If we take a look at the US dollar price changes, we can see that membership is becoming hugely more expensive. In fact, Premier Club is becoming 24.37% more expensive than what it is right now. This is even more expensive than what it cost in 2019 and 2020 in the US dollar currency, at which point it cost 90 bucks. That's a massive difference, okay? Premier Club membership is literally becoming nearly 20 bucks more expensive if you're using dollars to pay. Now, I'm not saying inflation isn't a valid reason to increase prices. I just think that the price increase is a little steep and the timing seems off. If we use an inflation calculator, the average cost of membership should be significantly lower than the price it will be set to in September, assuming the purchase power for a US dollar in July 2024 has changed compared to May 2022 using actual data. We're talking differences ranging from 4 to 15% more than compared to US dollar inflation. For my fellow Europeans, except the Brits, it's a different story as the difference is much smaller, especially when comparing the recreation and culture sector specific inflation rates. But that doesn't change the fact that this just straight up sucks. I'm making this video to inform you of something that is going to happen and there's nothing you can do about it, except decide whether or not RuneScape will still be worth it to you. If it isn't, cancel your membership and spend it on something else. But that's only something you can decide. I wouldn't like to be paying more for a service that only recently started to deliver more promises as Jagex has yet to prove that they can keep up these promises in the long term. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments down below. I've been talking to the microphone all day, so I'm going to go ahead and rest my voice now. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.